What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast. We're talking about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Special guest this week, Chris Abcon. What's going on, everybody? What is up? So definitely continue to tune in throughout the week. So Monday, Tuesday, our topics, Wednesday, discussion. Uh, Thursdays, Ask Us SP. So look out for that one. And then Fridays, everything else. So movies, books, games, all that cool stuff. But without further ado, I'll give it to Shannon. All right, everybody. So this article is actually from the New York Times. Um, and it's written by Charlie Savage. Um, and so what we're going to discuss here, right? <clears throat> um, the, the article is the NSA buys Americans internet data without warrants letter says, right? So here's what's kind of, here's what's kind of crazy about this, right? So if the NSA wants to get any type of information on anybody, um, when it comes to domestic investigations, they have to get warrants, right? There's the whole court they got to go through to, to give their, their reasonings behind it. You know what I mean? This is why we need it. This is the information we already have, but this is talking about them buying internet data that's already out there from data brokers that is available to everyone to include foreign countries, right? So the discussion ends up being, is this wrong for the NSA to do this? Well, I, I'll tell you this. I'll give you my stance on this. If the practice is out there for everybody to do, why is the NSA not allowed to do it, right? Like it's out there for everyone. Why are they subjected differently if, if it's a practice you've made available to everyone? If you have a problem with the NSA having it, get rid of the practice for everyone right? Data brokers shouldn't be able to sell it to anyone, a private individual, a company, foreign entities, whatever it may be. Um, so this is where I feel a little different, right? And I know people will see this, they will hear this and be like, no, it's the NSA. They got to go through the process. It's the third. Yeah, they do. If it's something that's not available to them, that's not freely available for them to purchase, right? Like, And, and here's the thing. They have used information like this to solve uh, crimes and, and to combat different things that have happened in the past, right? Like they have used this method to make that happen, right? So as you sleep under your blanket of freedom, you know what I mean? Not speaking a different language, you know, thank them for that. You know what I mean? Is 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 my is my is my stance on this, right? But no, you've made it available to everyone. I don't see why it should be one of those things where the rules should be different for government agencies, right? But again, this is just Shannon speak, speaking, right? Like this is the Patriot Act guy, right? So I have no yeah, problem. I'm say Patriot Act guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, no I love with. the Patriot Act. Oh yeah. 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 So like, <laughs> go, go get them Terry's. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Go get them Terry's. But no, I, I, I just I don't understand it. I don't understand why it is such a big deal for them. And and here's the here's the thing: the NSA knew it was going to be a problem, right? Because it kind of it they didn't volunteer they were doing this until it was i'm trying to remember what it was if it was they were gonna they weren't gonna continue with funding or something i can't remember what it was that they kind of had to come forward and be like all right yeah we're we're doing the same thing too right um because what what it is is they're just urging intelligent agencies to stop buying this internet data right it's not like they're telling them no you're ordered no longer to do this right because it is it is um it is something that is out there for everyone but uh, let me try to find it here because it was some it was something that happened. Oh, that's what it was. It were it was they were holding up the appointment of the next uh director, is what it was for the NSA. That's what it was. They were holding up the appointment until they got an answer on whether or not they were doing this. And then they kind of came forward and like, yeah, this is something that we're doing, right? So the NSA knew, like they knew just by admitting it, the firestorm that was going to follow with this, right? And it's just one of those things where the NSA, has, the NSA has had a black eye in the past, right? For other things that they've done, right? The different monitoring and, and, and data that they store and things of that nature that have come out, you know what I'm saying? So they knew what they were doing, but again, it's not, I, I don't see a problem with it if it's available to everyone, right? Like they shouldn't be held to a different standard. Stop the practice. Yeah, I mean, that's that's right on. I mean, if, if a public corporation can do it, you better believe the biggest data miner in the world, the NSA will be doing it. And really it's, an, according to the article, it's only been publicly disclosed, I think June, 2023, but they've been doing this stuff for years, right? Um, at the same time, it's not until people are aware of, oh, privacy issues, things like that, that people actually raise the flag when it, they, when they believe it affects them. Um, the, my thing is, hey, I'll let the courts decide, right? If, if the courts are gonna, you know, it mandate the NSA gets a warrant, cool. But at the same time, like you were saying, do private corporations need to get a warrant for this? Or I mean, is 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 it for lawful use, right? So at the end of the day, if the if the US wants to adopt or people want to adopt some type of GDPR 
it's the European general data privacy uh, regulations, um, then, then that needs to be something that needs to be proposed in, from Congress from the top down, right? But you can't just have, like, I think like you were saying, outrage for the sake of outrage, right? If you're just going to be annoyed with this, but at the same time, you understand the NSA is using this to help save lives and protect American people. Um, and then if it comes down to it, right, like if they want to go to the, they want to go to the granularity of GDPR, like assigning data controllers, you know, data owners, uh, data stewards, right? I mean, do Americans really have the the time to think about that kind of stuff to, you know, really care? I mean, they, they should. should care about their data. They, they should yeah. care about their data. Um, but is it, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a deeper discussion than that. It's not as simple as, oh, the NSA shouldn't be doing this. But then at the same time, it's, the NSA shouldn't be doing this. Nobody should be doing it. I think Shannon hit it right on the money there. No, I, I agree. I was hoping that somebody would be the dissenting uh, uh, point of view. So I, <laughs> I'll, I'll play devil's advocate. So I'm, I'm pro it. I think NetFlow, um, when it comes to, um, uh, malware setting up antivirus uh you know catching those those terries and things of that nature is absolutely paramount and and necessary for the nsa's mission for cybersecurity. I, so I, I believe that them collecting this data absolutely necessary however it brings to to highlight the practice itself which is shady that they can they have data brokers who are selling american netflow uh in general right so like like yes there's if the nsa wanted to do it through regular channels they would have to get a warrant and things of that nature um however there is a workaround because joe Smo, you know company abc can do this without needing said warrant right like just buy the data wholesale uh and say just followed suit so if you do have a problem with nsa doing it like you guys said it should be across the board you should have a problem and there should be a for america to not have its own gdpr or pipita or because i think that's the, the can, canadian version of it right um to protect american uh data is in itself a failure right all these other nations are doing it very well to include now they're making strides for ai and things of that nature because this is going to become an automated process in the future um it, it's guaranteed guaranteed right where uh uh, it, whether the NSA does it or not, there will be corporations who who want this data for for whatever reason, whether it be to protect people, right, uh, from cybersecurity means, or to be able to control their uh, their their ad revenue or their targeting of specific people and selling things or uh, collecting the data to then be able to flip it as a uh, an ISP to be able to restrict or gate things. Um, to make more money, right? Uh, at, the, at the end of the day, data is profitable. If you want to protect people, then you need to put up regulation and things of that nature wholesale to protect uh, civilian data. I am okay with this because like Shannon and, and Epcon said, or Chris, I'm sorry, I flipped the military, <laughs> <laughs> said it, it's it's being used to, to protect us. Um, now, is it is it an invasion of privacy? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> it is an invasion of privacy. But you're okay with it when you click the uh, the user agreement, right? You read it, or you probably did not read it, and, and this is part of it. <laughs> and the thing is, and you're right, you do agree to it, right? But the thing is, you care less when Meta does it, right? You care less when one of these other big corporations does it, right? When, when, when X or Twitter or whatever does it. Right. You care less, right? I think it's because it has the NSA on it and people whether you have a fear of the government doing whatever. And like you said, it's net flow data, right? It's not that serious digging into your phone conversations you, not that we know of. Let me say that, that we know. Right. Of. But Simpsons already exposed that, right? Right. Decades right. ago. Right. <laughs> but it's it's not, it's not the data that you think of when you think of the NSA, you know, poking around and doing whatever, because you automatically go to the highest of, oh, they're listening in on my phone calls, right? It's no, it's no longer clicks on the phone. You know what I mean? Right. It's just, listen in without it being clicks anymore because it's not a landline, right? Right. So- but yeah, I, I I don't know, man. I just stop the practice across the board if you have a problem with it. And I'm not saying the practice is right, right? I'm just saying it's wrong for the NSA to be singled out for it when they're not the only ones doing it. Yeah, I I, I completely agree. Like it's it's like like the um, Chris Rock special, selective outrage. 
um is is what it is like you you were you were okay when it was uh, again like you said your twitters your metas your your whomevers uh who are literally selling it your data right they're making a profit off you because if you're not paying for the product you are the product so they're making like twelve dollars times one billion people um or whatever the going rate i'm sure the rate is even higher now right now uh, because because data is so precious um they're making a bajillion dollars off of you literally <laughs> you're okay with it but nsa this is like hey i want to use this to make sure nobody is gonna uh gonna get you they're like oh wait a minute <laughs> government <laughs> you can't mm -hmm. have that um and, and not to say like hey i've read 1984 like i'm I'm very dystopic or orwellian type guy like yeah you don't want to give them two you don't want to give them a foothold because then it turns into monitoring right um but ag again in this in this practice it was already happening and i think it's more nefarious for mark zuckerberg to be listening to your netflow data than it is the nsa agent Just in my opinion, like the 1984 is coming from the civilian corporations, not necessarily okay. the government. They're kind of late to the game, actually, in that regard. So also consider know. that like NSA has got like rules of engagement. They can't be just willy nilly looking at American people's data. Right, right. Elon does easy. not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there are no ROEs for Elon. He's just he's just exactly. looking at it. How can I make more money off of you? What are you looking at? <laughs> You know what I mean? So, uh, I don't. I don't know. Like uh, again, I think it's selective outrage, and I don't. I don't want to be too pro uh, government spying. However, in this regard, you're being spied on by civilians. So, <laughs> like, pick your battles. <laughs> I'd rather. I'd rather it be more sanctioned than not. So, yeah. At the end of the day, I think they're going to have to. Like, this is going to cause them to create rules which is a good thing in this in this regard right i don't believe in over regulation but i believe in regulation in general and there is no regulation in this uh this current um uh area of um commerce right because data is for sale and your data is for sale and you've opted in so now we'll make some rules for it we'll we'll uh slow this process down only because now that you're you're worried that uh big brother is watching so it's kind of weird, but it, if it works, it works, right? And then uh, everyone will have new rules, and NSA will have new rules, uh, but at the end of the day, you won't have private companies uh, siphoning this data and then and then selling it to the highest bidder. Or they'll give you another user agreement that lets you opt into it, <laughs> and you opt in wholesale. So it is what it is. But definitely continue to tune in throughout the week. So Monday, Tuesday, our topics, Wednesday, discussion. Thursdays, Ask SSP. Definitely tune in to the last one for last week and as well as this one. And all of, all of them. They're all good. I definitely tune into those. And then Friday, everything else. Movies, books, games, all that good stuff. So definitely uh, hit us up by the website to so go buy our name. Hit me up personally. I'm at Rye Rye Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y -R -Y Security Guy. You can find me on Twitter, Threads, Clubhouse, and LinkedIn. And you, Chris? Connect with me on LinkedIn under Chris Abacon, spelled A Bacon. There it is. Stay safe, stay secure.